Welcome to Bishop Legal News, where we review appellate and Supreme Court decisions that may affect the outcome of your own case. In the July 2010 case of Broom v. Morgan Stanley Dean Witter, the Washington Supreme Court decided two issues. First, whether to review arbitration decisions for error of law on the face of the award, and second, whether the statute of limitations runs in arbitration. In the last several years of Dick Broom's life, his broker kept his accounts in high-tech stocks, causing a loss of nearly his entire life savings. In September 2005, Mr. Broom's adult children filed securities fraud claims against Morgan Stanley Dean Witter. Because the brokerage agreement signed by Mr. Broom contained arbitration clauses, these claims were filed in arbitration, not in the courts. The arbitrators decided that the Broom family's claim was filed too late. In other words, that it violated the statute of limitations, and therefore they dismissed it. The Broom family sought review by the King County Superior Court, arguing that the ruling of the arbitrators was an error of law because the statute of limitations is not supposed to apply to the simpler process of arbitration. The Superior Court agreed and sent the matter back to be decided on the merits by the arbitrators. Morgan Stanley appealed, and the case eventually reached the Washington Supreme Court. Morgan Stanley made two arguments. First, that the old rule that an arbitrator's decision could be set aside for error of law appearing on the face of the award should be abandoned in favor of a narrower scope of review. And second, that the statute of limitations should be applied in arbitration. The Supreme Court rejected both these arguments and held first that the courts should continue to be sure that arbitrators follow the law, and second, that the statute of limitations does not apply to the simpler, less formal process of arbitration. This case is important because more and more consumer agreements, such as, for example, credit card agreements, provide that arbitration is the only way to resolve disputes between the parties. Therefore, it is important that the decisions of arbitrators can be reviewed for basic compliance with the law. It is also important that technical defenses like the statute of limitations not apply in arbitration because this allows cases to be decided on the merits. Legal news happens fast and can quickly affect the outcome of pending cases. Each case is unique, so this case does not necessarily indicate the outcome of your case. Feel free to check back here for future editions of Legal News. I'm Raymond Bishop for Bishop Legal.